Good morning, Rab Boisai. Ah! Lili Nishmas, Imi Merosi Rus, Bas Mordechai. We'll say a capital till him in schus of the safe return of all those on the front line and all the captured and all the injured, all the chaylen and all the neshamas. And you know what? All the families that are going through such tsar now, the unknown, the unknown. Say, what did we say yesterday? Capital Kuf Lamed? No, we said Kuf Mem Beis yesterday? No, it was Kuf Lamed. Okay, so the Kuf Mem Beis. Maski Ledovid, Vyoy Soi, Vamoros Filo, Koili Eladino Yezo, Koili Eladino Yezchanon, Eshpoich Lefanov Sichi, Tsarosi Lefanov Agid, Bisate Valai Ruchi, Vato Yodat and Sivosi, Boyarzu Ahalek, Tom Nufakli, Habet Yomin Rei, Veni Makir, of Abenois Mimeni, Ain the Rachel and Abshi, Zoakti Lechadinoi, O Martia Tomachsi, Helki Beret Zahaim, Hakshiva Rinosi, Kitaloisimioi, that Sileni Miroid Fai, Yom Tu Mimeni, Hoitio Mimazger Nabshi, Loidois Shemecho. ויחדיר צדיקים כי סגמו אל אלוהי אחינו כל בייס ישראל הנסון מצורו והשביו הוי דם בין ביום ובין ביבושו המוקו עם ירחם עליהם ויוציאם מצורו לרבוכו ומאפלו לאוירו ומישיבו לגאולו השתו בגלו בזמן קורי ונאמר אמן Today is דף פי א' and I want to remind the עולם many people were talking about the סיום the Siyom is open and everybody that wants to come to the Siyom should please RSVP online. It's mdyshabbos.com. If you're not going to come to the Shabbos, I'll tell you a little bit about the Shabbos for a second. Just we'll do Chazara. The Shabbos is not about having fun, although it might, you know, coming to Shir is also not about having fun, but people have fun. It's not also to have fun. But the point of the Shabbos is that the mishpacha gets together the achdus of so many different types of people, of chassidim and misnagdim and svardim and ashkenazim. And we have a Lubavitcher speaker, our uh, Rebwaiwa is Lubavitch, a Magichir that learned in Panovich. It, it's just achdus of all of Klai Yisrael together and celebrating a tremendous monumental time. We finished half of Shas, half of Shas. We finished the entire Seder Nashim, and we're finishing now Masech Kedushim, which we're finishing tomorrow, Bezer Hashem, is our final day. That's what we're coming to celebrate. And all the speeches are going to be talking about the matzav that we're in right now, and the achdos, and Torah. And it's just going to be a time to, to be uplifted, and uplift each other. And before that we got a psak from the G'doylem, not only that we should... We could do it, but you should do it. It's a time to celebrate Torah. It's not a time to be depressed at home and, and sit there by yourself and be all depressed. It's a time to come out and celebrate Torah. There's nothing wrong with it. Whoever thinks there's something wrong with it is going against Das Torah. So, please come for Shabbos. Be mechazek. Everybody that's there, you will be mechazek them. And if you can't come for Shabbos, come for Matzi Shabbos. I don't want to talk about it now, but there might be an... An amazing surprise. Maybe. Maybe. I'm just saying. So, with that being said, we'll talk about... Oh, they asked me to say that what? Check-in on Friday is 1 p.m. So all those who like to come early, you come early and hang out in the lobby for three, four hours, but check-in is at 1. Matzay or... And Thursday. Those who are coming Thursday because there was an option to come Thursday... I think check-in is 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Okay. Motzi Shabbos, there's going to be a shear Motzi Shabbos two hours after the Zman. That's the shear. And then afterwards starts the Siyam and the celebration of half a Shas. Is there a shear Friday? There is a shear Friday. That's the first daf of Baba Kama. There will be a shear live at the hotel. I believe it's like 3.30, uh, something like that. I don't remember the exact time, but it's later on in the afternoon. Um, and absolutely, but you're not coming, right? So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, 
Of course, there's extra charge. Every everything's an extra charge. But Shabbos includes Matzi Shabbos. If you're coming, I believe Matzi Shabbos is a ninety nine dollars, something like that. Um, what else? That's it. Bring yourself. Bring your wife. We're gonna be celebrating the wives of MDY. Give them a yishkayach. Um, dear Rebelli, I have a group of guys on an incredible path to Frumkite that are actually loving the daily share, even though they don't know Hebrew well, they still gain a lot and learning a lot of important concepts through the share. Thank you so much for that. Figured we'd show you some Akar Satayv for that with a good morning Rebbeisai with the guys. Wishing much continued Slocha on impacting Klai Yisrael, Yuri Reizel, Boston, NCSY. Unfortunately, I couldn't get his video. It came in a funny format, I didn't get it. Fighter Rav Stefanski, please update me if the Shabbos for the seam of Kiddush and Seyed Nashim at the Armon Hotel will take into account the current war in Eretz Yisrael. What will the mood be at the Malava Malka and the Seum? Call to Bimsuras Tavis David Eisen. So, based on what Rabash Weiss told us, we are going to take out some of the very Geshmaka songs, the, you know, the. It's going to be more of a Kumzit style kind of singing, Bezer Hashem, for the, uh, for the Siyum. But in terms of the mood, there's no, again, there's no mitzvah to be depressed. There's a mitzvah to emo yinachi b'tzara, to feel the pain. And with that, be uplifted with Torah and Chesed. Ryan Kessler, this moved me a little bit. I have a story to share. I booked two tickets to the Siyum on Masech Kiddush and Seyed Enoshim for this month's Shabbos. I really didn't have the money for this. But I said, I'll figure it out later. So I guess two tickets is $200. With my transfer from the night shift to day shift, I had an extra toolbox I really didn't need anymore. My work partner has eventually wanted to buy it from me. He zelled me $200 as a partial payment. That covered the CM tickets. People are going all out. Can't afford it? Does it anyway. If you can't afford it, you should come for Shabbos anyway. We'll figure it out later. One year ago, my wife and I were struggling to get pregnant. Since my brother had recently started doing the fiyoy, my wife suggested I give it a shot. With the hopes that Hashem would answer our tefillahs in schos of my learning. That was in the darn death base. And with your help and support of the entire shir, I've been able to stick with it for an entire year. I'm about to make the fifth scene with everyone. And of course, the best news of all, my wife and I are now expecting our first child and cannot wait to welcome another MD wire into the fold. Thank you for all that you do for us. Looking forward to many more siyum to come. Perry Fox. Nidarn Lav Bay is Fairlawn, New Jersey. Nine months you know him? Ah. Tani's coming to the Shabbos. Tani Palak and his wife. Is it nine months? Big nuts. We'll, we'll throw it in the book, even though it's not nine months. Good morning, Rebelli. We got to go because I got complained yesterday. We went a little bit over. You haven't mentioned a kiss from Hashem in the five of a certain day or Sugya. J Bam. Thought I had to share this kiss from Hashem. I joined the MDY family in Kedusha Nomad Beis. And so, Bezrat Hashem is signing Kedusha with the whole MDY family is coming Friday. Of all the days that the team could have fallen, it's none other than my birthday, the 90th of the Cheshvan. I have no doubt that it's Hashem's way of telling me how precious the limit of that family is for him. It's just unbelievable to think about it. There are months at a time when no seam takes place and that does it. Always a good opportunity to say thank you to the entire MDY family. Keep all this connected to the DAF. May we see many kisses from Hashem in these trying times. Best regards, Ilan Chaim Golan, Montreal, Canada. And here it is for one of the final times. Our very first. It's it's big. The first time that we're doing this. Beis Hashem, more to come. The first time people have been talking about it for years. We got to do a Shabbos together. It'll be an amazing thing. Da, 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 da. Okay. The Masechta sponsored by the Lachlan Lubbock families like New Jersey because Torah and Achtos are the best Segula. Masechta is for the, enti- the unity of Am Yisrael. Parents of Chodesh, Hatzloch, Leschus, Yosef, Meir, Ben Rochel, and Yidim worldwide. Parents of Chodesh, Lina Nishma, Zechari, Ben Moshe, and Lina Nishma, Zechari, Bas Yosef. Parents of Yom, brain intact, unleash your full potential, should be Zechari, the next Dusha, and tremendous success in all my endeavors. Paras Hayoyim, for Shlema Yehudas Chava Bas Liba Arnina Bas Charna, for Shlema. Paras Hayoyim, Carl Tischler, thank you for bringing us back and bringing us forward. Am Yisrael Chai, the art of the month. Yosef Ben Chai Sora for the schuzim that come from supporting the Torah and Rabbi Yisai. Don't forget the RSVP for the Siyum this coming Motzi Shabbos special surprise Beis Hashem. Okay, 
I'll let you guys know what it is. But who just told me, oh, Steve. Steve Jakubowski's coming for Shabbos. Where is he? Is he here today? It's very special. Mom is special. Okay. Yechiel, you can do it also. If you really wanted to, you could. I don't want to put any pressure on in front of everybody. We'll talk later. <laughs> Rabbi Oise, I have a question for you. I think the answer is a known answer, but it's good I think about it for a second. If a woman decides she wants to become an Azira, she says she's not going to drink any wine. And without her knowing, her husband found, finds out about it, and he has the right to annul her nether, her Naziros, and it's nothing. She doesn't know that he did it. She goes to the bar that night and she drinks a ton of wine. Was she over Isser or was she not over Isser? Her husband got rid of the Naziris 100%. She doesn't know about it. Is she over? Yes or no? Rabbi said yes or no? <laughs> no. Not the answer. But nice, nice, good. I was worried that you're going to know it. Good. If you don't know it, maybe other people won't know it either. It's great. That was a great question. No, what do you say, guest? What do you say? Over or not over? No. No. Not over. Okay. So a guy goes into uh, McDonald's. He says, you know what? I want to go off to Derek today. That's it. I'm done. I want to eat Trafe. He goes in and his friend sees that he went into the McDonald's and he slips him a, a great Chicago burger under the table. And the guy doesn't know. He sits, he sits there. He eats. He fresses the McDonald's. He thinks he just ate a McDonald's burger. But Lamai says so it was 100% kosher. Over or not over? Over. You say over. And you say the first one also over by the Nazira? Both over? First one not, second one yet. Okay. They are, they are the same exact case. And we're going to see that a person is over. He's over. Just by thinking that he does an Avera. He thinks he's doing an Avera. Because think about it. What you're doing right now, it's not a machshava. You're doing something against Hashem's will. You think that you're doing something against Hashem's will. That itself is an Avera. Hashem told you not to do. You think that what you're doing is against Hashem. You don't care about Hashem. You're showing that you don't care about Hashem. It's a different Aver. Correct. Do you get Malchus? No. It's an Aver that you need to do tshuva on. It's different. It's not, the, it's not an Aver of Treif. It's an Aver of making, of not caring about Hashem. It's a different type of an Aver. I'm ask him. Okay. But it's an Aver. It's a serious Aver. Aver they have to do tshuva. It's very after the juba. Let's say, let's say a person thinks that a certain thing that he does is a big mitzvah. It's it's far from being a mitzvah. I'll get up to Shemayim to laugh at him. He thought it's a mitzvah. It's a it's a it's a mitzvah. It's a real it's a, a mitzvah like on in par with tefillin. So probably I don't know. I'm, I'm not up there, but I think you're right. You probably get some sort of mitzvah because you think you're doing ratzon Hashem. You made up your own mitzvah. It's probably not on the same level as a real mitzvah, but you get something. Yeah, I'm asking. What's the difference between that and when you say when you have good tefillin, you want to But you you get a mitzvah a little bit, but not tefillin. It's called it's called uh, kartoflach on your head, but it's not tefillin. It's something else. Correct. Omer Rav Yudam Rav. That's something else. That's uh, the kind of thing. Top of pay Aleph Omid Aleph, it's 80 daf into Gitan. Literally, eight, into Kedushan, 80 daf into the Mesef. It's a tremendous achievement. Omar Avid Omarab. This halacha that we learned that one woman could have Yichud with two men, that's only inside the city. If you're outside on the way, you need at least three. Or on the side it says, it says in another Mesef, basically, a person has to relieve himself. I can tell you from my own experience, I, I went on a number of safaris, Baruch Hashem. I love it. Now in my old age, I can't play ball anymore, so I, have to, I need another outlet. So you're in the middle of nowhere. You're out in, on this Jeep for three hours. And all of a sudden, you know, nature calls. You have to, you have to go. But there's lions here. There's, there's elephants over there. So you have to find a place. And you go far away from everybody in the Jeep. You have to go. So you might as well go. So that's literally what it says here. Because, because of Tznius, you have to get away from the, the people that are with you, from the, from the group. So now you go. Now they have time to do Navera. So therefore, you have to leave behind two people. It has to be one woman, two men. If you leave behind one man, something could happen. 
Says the Gemara name have a raya. Oh, I didn't put it in, but we saw it yesterday that the Saita is brought to the base of with her husband in the car. We had the whole thing. There's two Adim in the car, so that on the way the husband is not misyach with her because if he's misyach with her, then he doesn't have era, and the water only works on a husband that's that's clean that didn't do any averas. It won't work on her. So it says, If you count the two Aiden plus the husband, it's a total of three. So we're not concerned. There's always going to be somebody there. So it says the Gemara, It's not true. What we need over there is Aiden. Because here, take a look. This is just from Sechel Soy. This is just Kedai to see, to see this again, to remember. And it goes like this. This right over here is the kiyar. And the way it works is you take a, a kli and you fill up water from the kiyar with pure tar water. Now, he goes into the heichal. Here he's going into the heichal where the menorah is. This is this, Bezer Hashem will get better. There's a, this a hole in the floor that you can pull up uh, one of the tiles. You take dirt, you put it into the water. Now, this is what we're talking about over here. Take the dirt, put it in the water. And the Kayan writes on a piece of parchment the whole parsha of. Here it is, right here. And you take that parsha and you put it in the water, and what happens is Hashem's name gets erased into the water, and then she drinks that water. The concern is that if they had Yichod, then you're erasing Hashem's name for no reason. So I need Adim to testify and say, no, don't do the whole procedure. We don't, we're not going to erase Hashem's name in vain. Rav says the Gemara. By the way, if you haven't noticed, Sagat today, a lot of Agata. Rav, Rav, Yehuda, have a The famous Rav, Galadar, first Amoira that ever existed, and his famous Talmud, Rav Yehuda, that always quotes Rav and Shmuel. Have a They're walking away. Have a It happens a lot. There's a woman right in front of them, walking. Amalei Rav, the Rav Yehuda, so the Rebbe tells his Talmud, Dal Karach Mikamei Gehenim. Let's hurry up. And let's get away so we don't find ourselves in Gehenna. She could cause us to sin. Omale, what are you talking about? We just said that one woman with two men is okay. That if the two kosher, don't you think me and you are kosher? Rabbi, you're not going to believe what he says here. What, what are you saying? Ksherim. Yeah, Ksherim. Real Gdailim. Not, not like us. The greatest Amoira, Rav. No, not me. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about previous generations. Those kind of children, they're okay with the woman. It's like, uh, if they're like uh, this, then we're the Chamoirim. And if they're Chamoirim, we're, uh, I don't know what. Me and the Shem Kigoyin, I know. What? El Kigoyin, my. So who's kosher? Kigoyin, Rebbe Chanina Bar Papi, the Chaveirov. So we had these stories right here on Daf Lamites. On the base, all the way in the bottom. It says over here that Rabbi Bartuyo Kisino, no, not this one. Here, Rabbi Chanino Bar Papi, literally two lines from the bottom. A woman invited him to come in, and then he said he said a certain, you know, Kabbalah thing, and he he got shchin. So she said her kishuf on him, and it went away. So he jumped into the bathroom. It was very dangerous. A whole story, and then it says another story over here, Rabbi Tzadik. This is also one of the, the Rashi brings, Rabbi Tzaddik, is also the Chaveirim over here, that a, a lady tried to persuade him, and she, so she, he said, I'm very weak, and she says, okay, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you this Chazer. He says, whoever could eat, whoever could do this Haver, could eat Chazer, it's the same thing. And then he jumps into the oven over there, she says, what are you doing? He says, she said, if I would have known that you're going to jump in the oven and commit suicide, I wouldn't have been inside you. Okay, so those those are the people. Who else do we have here? Rav Kahana comes out to Vatayim at the He jumped off the roof. Eliyahu came and caught him over here. Remember that story? He jumped off because you're allowed to kill yourself in order not to be to be over Naver, like the brisk in the elevator. So then, uh, then Eliyahu yelled at him. You made me come 400 parasa. Okay, says the Gemara. Omer Rav, Malkin al Yichud ve'in Oisrim al Yichud. If you see a woman, a man, going into a room together, you give them malchus. But if a married woman goes into a room with another man, she's misyached, even let's say a minute and a half, whatever the shear is, 
You don't tell her that she's also her husband. Malkus, yes. Yes or no. Omer Avashi, Lo Yamar Al-Biyichud Pluya. That's referring to what David HaMelech came up with. Avu Biyichud Eishasish. But the Deiraisa one of Eishasish, Loi. She loite moitzi laz al boneo. People are going to say, look, she's Eishasish. She was Mesiachid. You know why they gave her Malkus? Because you don't give Misa today. We don't have uh, capital punishment. So they gave her Malkus. In other words, people are going to say that her kids are Mamzerim. She's a Shashish, her kids are Mamzerim. So in order for people not to be Maitzi Laz, we say not even Malkus. It's very interesting. On the lesser Avera of a Pnuya, a married woman, Malkus. On a married woman, because of the problem of her kids, we're not going to give her Malkus. Marzutri, Malkum Achris. Marzutri says it's not a problem. I'm going to give the Shashish Malkus and I'm going to announce she is getting Malkus not because she was Mizana. Because she broke Divri Chacham and we're giving her Malkus from the Rabbana. Oh, the Rabbana Nachman made for her Hatio, the Ravashi, Mar Nami Nilki of Lachris. How come you don't do this trick? Give Malkus and announce. People are going to say, Oh, you heard that woman screaming. It was unbelievable. You can't even imagine her cries or screaming. She got Malkus. And they're not going to hear the second part where the announcement was that she's not Oiver and Eshesis. She was only Oiver and Yichot. That they'll forget. Omarav. Malkin, if somebody, if there's a rumor about somebody that he's not doing good things, he's being over there, give him Malkus. Shinemar. Albonai, here's the Pasuk. Eli Akoyin says, Albonai, there's bad rumors about you, my sons. And he uses a lotion of Al. <clears throat> al is a lotion of a lav. Rashi says, it's a lav. It's like a love. So you, if you have a love, you get a you get Malkus. Just on a shmua, on a rumor. Like Toiva Shmua. It's a bad rumor I hear about you, Malkus. Avsero, this is Avsero. How do you say it in English? No. Oh who? The bid is a mouth. The whole the whole part here. And then here's the Yoshi did this. He he gave him, he tied him to the to the beam to Malkus, and he put the Afsera on his shoulder. One one shot is he hit him with it, the other shot he just put it on him. Umagrile, and then he would read him the Pasuk Al Bonai. Few Allahs here, Omar Abba, Bala Bir, and Khoshim Shim Yichud. If a woman's husband is in the city. You don't have to be concerned about Yichud. Why? Because the husband could step in at any given moment. Now, one of the halachas that I saw is that it's only if Ein Li Begaspa, if he doesn't know her very well. And they say, what does it mean? What's the shear of Ein Li Begaspa? If a person is so comfortable that he could just go open up a refrigerator without permission, that's Li Begaspa, that he has enough, he's comfortable enough, and then the husband doesn't work, even though he's in the city. Omar Rabbi Yosef, that's what a lot of people do. They leave the door open a little bit, and then you don't have to be worried about Yichod. Story time. Rabbi was a guest by Rabbi Yosef. So Rabbi was on, they were eating here. Here's like a stam, part of a, a drawing that Yoshi did for the next story. So the way it used to work is they had like a, a second floor, an attic, and they would climb up the, the stairs to get into the attic. So they're sitting in the second floor eating bread. Buzz of the Kar Hrifta, after they had a meal, Omalu, so Rav Yosef and his wife went down the stairs, and Rav Yosef had to go dive in Mariv, let's say. He's leaving. Omaluhu, so he tells his people, <clears throat> please remove the ladder. So Rabivi is stuck upstairs and he won't be able to come downstairs to be Mesiachet with my wife. It's in two separate floors. As the Gemara of Amar Rabbi Bailo Be'ir, Rabbi Yosef went outside, he stepped outside, but he's in the city. What's the Chshash of Yichod? He says the Gemara, Shani Rabbi Yishvinite Yavei V'gaisi Bei. We have it today that you're very close to a certain woman, let's say she's your cousin, whatever it is, you know her, you know, you went to school to God, or whatever it is, you work with her. So, Liba Gaspa, in other words, you're familiar with her. That's on a different level. That's more of a chashad. So even if the husband is in the city, it doesn't work. Like I said before, refrigerator. 
אומר רב כהנא, הנושן מבחוץ ונושן מבפנים, אין חושם שמייחוד. So, <coughs> this is just my little drawing. It's not the best in the world, but kind of explains what's going on here. There are two rooms. There's פנים חוץ, you see in green. פנים is the inner one. The only way to get to the inner one is to go through the outer one. So in our days, let's say uh, there's a bedroom in the back and there's a living room in the front. And there's a front door <coughs> where the red arrow is. That's the front door. So you come from the front door. You have to go through the front room and you get to the back room. So the Gemara says two svars. You can look at it both ways. If the men are in the outer room and the women are in the inner room, What's the problem? That perhaps a woman will come out of the bedroom and walk through the men. Is that a problem? No, because one woman and many men is not a problem. The issue is if one man goes into the back room, well, what is he doing in the back room? He has no reason to be there. There's no excuse. He can't say, oh, I'm, going to, uh, I'm looking for the, for the door. No, you know, it's over there. So we're not worried that a man will go into the back room. That's one way to look at it. What if it's the reverse? The men are in the inner one and the women are in the outer one. Now we have a problem because I'm not concerned so much that the woman, I'm concerned that a man is going to want to go outside because outside he's going to be one man and some women. Some say it's only two women in the, that room because more than women, more than two women is not a problem. Okay. Less than 30 seconds. I don't know how long it's going to take him. Maybe he'll be there for 25 minutes. That's the whole point. If he walks in there, he might decide to stay. The thing is, do you make a party like that? Are you permitted to make a party where men are forced to go through the women or women are forced to go through the men? That's, is it against halach or not? So in the Bryce, it says the exact opposite. That what? That if we're concerned, in this case, we're concerned, this one. The case that you said you're not concerned, that the women are in the back room. And what's the worst that's going to happen? They're going to come through the men. The problem is that what if a man decides to go into the women? That's the problem. Or you're telling me this is not a problem, that if the men are inside, it's not a problem. It is a problem. You know why? Because, perhaps, no, so over here we said that it's a, the first time we said it's a problem. And they're saying it's not a problem. You know why? Because if the men are in the in a room, nobody, you said 30 seconds, but nobody in the right mind is going to stay there for more than whatever it is. Because what if his friend decides to leave also? He'll get caught. So men in the inside and women in the outside is not a problem according to the Bryce. We can look at it in two different ways. Since we each way could be a problem, according to one man, let's just not do things like that. Let each one have their own entrance and exit, and it won't be an issue. Abaya says the Gemara, Doyer Gulfe. When, here's an interesting thing. Has anybody ever been to a chopa where there was a machitza? I've never been to one. I've done many, many chopas in my life, hundreds. I've never seen one. I've been to many Rishalmi weddings, Hasidish weddings, all, never seen a, a, a Mechitza. Why? I don't know. Don't know. I've never seen a Chumrah like that. But Rashi says that we're talking about a Chuppah over here, a speech and a Chuppah, that Abaya would put jugs be, between the men and the women in case a man or a woman would cross over, would make noise. Rava, Dair, Kone, he would put reeds, also the idea of making noise. Interesting. So I don't know if he means a, a wedding. It says chopa, chopa and drasha. Omar Abin, skove the shato rigla. The worst time of the year is yantif. That's when everybody gets dressed up and there's a lot of mingling going on in shul, speeches. It's very bad for Klai Yisrael. In fact, as it says over here, that's what we have today. I don't know if you're if so familiar with Bahab. Taisa talks about Bahab over here, that right after Yantif, that um, the last line of Taisa is, Lekach Noagu, Lesanis, Lachar Pesach, Lachar Sukkis, you do Sheini, Hamishi, Sheini, fasting, because it's a time of acting, whatever it is. 
there's, there's more of a chance that things happen and therefore they fast them. Says the Gemara, crazy story. Hanach Shviyasa, and just goes from one thing to the other. Says the Gemara, Hanach Shviyasa, Mamish and the Yoyma, there were two women that were captured. It was Maisa Shibchol Yoyim in those days. They would just capture women, demand money. The Soyle Narda. Askinu the Beir of Amram Chasido, Rav Amram the Chasid. His name was Rav Amram Chasid. Can you imagine? Chasido. He was the one that said, let's pay the money, let's get them out. So they said, okay, great, let's bring them to Rav Amram's house. So they bring them to the house. He puts them up in the attic. Ashkul Dargim Kamai. They took away the stairs, so there's no problem in Yichud. One of the women passed by the entrance here. You see right over here, there's a, the hole in the, the skylight in the, in, the, in, the, in the ceiling. It lit up. She was so beautiful. Like, Kaviyocha lit up the, the room. Rav Aaron grabbed the, the stairs, which was heavier then something that 10 men, 10 men had to carry. It's very, very heavy. He had so much adrenaline, so much taiva, they lifted it up and he ran. He brought it by himself. And he put it up there. He gets up, he gets halfway up the stairs. He has harata. He's like, what am I going to do? What am I doing? I'm a god of Adar. I'm going I'm to sin out. But he couldn't. He couldn't control himself. His yater and his body, his mind, his, his heart, and he, he put his feet in in a way like he stopped for a second, a moment. Romakolo, and he started screaming, Nura Bayamram, fire, fire. What happens when you scream fire? So all the neighbors come with pails of water. Also, Rabban and Amrle, so they come and they see there's no fire. They see the Rebbe on his way up to sin. He's on a, on a staircase. Where are you going? Everybody knows that there's two women in there. So they told him, you're embarrassing us. This is our Rebbe. It's better that you should be embarrassed for me in this world. It's better that, I, that you came now and you saved me from a, from a chet than to be embarrassed in another and say, this, this is your Rebbe. This is the guy that taught you all the Torah. The Marshal says that he didn't lie when he screamed, fire, fire. I don't know why the Marshal cares so much. So he's, he said he lied. Save himself from it? He says, no. Because he actually meant the Yitzhar, the fire. The Yitzhar is here. The Yitzhar, come get him. Ashbei, so he made, he swore the Yinpak Mineh that he should leave him. Novak Mineh, Ka'amuda de Nuro. And in fact, he left him here. Yoshi did a thing here. I think it's over here. This is the Yitzhar that he did in, back in the day from the, the Netflix Yitzhar. So he left him like a, like a beam of light, like a fire, beam of fire. And so he said, Look, you're fire. I'm only flesh and blood. And I'm better than you. The Gemara says over here, incredible stories. Mamish, incredible stories that can give us chizuk. And the point I think is, uh, maybe at the end of the day, you see that G'day Le'aylam also struggle with tremendous Nesiyayinus. And even after the Nesiyayinus, they remain Don't look down on yourself when you struggle and you had a, a situation in your life. Even G'dayla Adar did. Remeir having his license by Avreir. Remeir made fun, poked fun at people that, that committed Averis. Why can't you control yourselves? One day the Satan dressed up like a woman. On the other side of the river they have a Mabra and there's no boats. I have a picture here. This is uh, what Rashi says. It's a plank of wood. And they put a rope. You hold on to the rope and you go over the, the, the water. And once he reached halfway across the river, the Eight Sahara d- disappeared. Here's Remeir. Remeir. All the anonymous missions. Remeir. He's running after a woman on the other side of the river. And all of a sudden, okay, Baruch Hashem, his Eight Sahara goes away. Omar. And the Yitzhar said, he laughed to come after his Berkia. If not for they, they scream out in heaven about you, Yitzhar, Bereb, Meir, the Terasa, be careful of Meir and his Torah. Shavit al Damach, Tartimai. I would make you worth too much. If you think about it, how much is a human body worth after it's dead? Dead, dead body. I once saw, they say it's worth about $3. In 
in terms of what, what can you make out of it? A little soap, a little this, little, three bucks. That's it. If you like, use the organs, millions, millions. Correct. Use this, that, the heart. Fine. You can make some money over there. And I don't know if anybody wants a, a terrorist heart, but whatever. Okay. There's money to be made. I could have, I could have made you worth two more, nothing. Says the Gemara about Rebbe Kiva, the greatest Tana, the greatest of the great, maybe the greatest human being that ever lived. Again, the point is, a lot of times, you're not familiar with addictions, you don't know what it feels like to, to, to use drugs or to, to be addicted to a certain thing. You could, you could look at the side and say, this guy's Meshuk, look what he's doing. He's stealing from his parents, the, the, the addiction, the, this. It's not fear to judge other people when, when you don't have that thing. And that's what's going on here, maybe. Rabbi Kiva, I have him slight his boy, I have made fun of them. What? You can't control your yater. You have a chadi, the other door, same story. The satan dressed up like a woman, gets a subrish dick on top of a palm tree. Knock the dick of a kasal gvazo. Rabbi Kiva himself climbs up the palm tree to get the woman. Came out of the palm tree to get the woman. When he got to halfway up, he started to let him alone. Or he allowed him to make his rikiva, he's already given rikiva, so he also shavit to the mach. Tartimot. Unbelievable. The bottom line is, don't look down on other people and don't look down on yourself because if you're Chaita, even Rebbe Kiva wanted to sin, even Rebbe Meir wanted to. Says the Gemara, play my, have a regular member called Yoyma, Gira Bain the Satan. Here's the picture I once used in, in Sukkah. You'd say, an arrow in the eye of the Satan. Curse the Satan. Every day. Says Gemara Yom Echad, Mali Yom Echad Kippur Rehava, was Erev Yom Kippur, Yidim Elei Kanya. So the Satan, dressed up like a poor person. Also, Kara Bava. He knocks on the door. Apikilei Rifta. So they gave him a piece of bread. Omer Lei, Yom Echad Yidno, Kulei Amon Gavoy, Vano Abroi. A day like today, everybody is a chiv to eat, and everybody has a suda. You're going to leave me outside? Why don't you invite me inside? I live in Kirulei Rifta, so they brought him inside. Omer Lei, Yom Echad Yidno, Kulei Amon Atako, Vano Al Chudoi. Well, you're all sitting by tables, I'm going to sit by myself. I see you see who so let him sit by the table. Have you also known that she's not going to be So they eat Zahara, he can do whatever he wants. He made himself full of boils and shechin, disgusting. He's acting disgustingly, he's popping his, his pimples, and then the, 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 the mucus is coming out, all the stuff, and he's like eating it, and uh, gross. Omerlay, so they tell him, that pay Aleph on the base. Tim Shapir, sit like a mensch, what are you doing? What are you making us grossed out? Omale, have a likasa. Give me a cup of wine. You have a likasa. Achmar, he takes it. Shalabay kicha, he spits into it. He does this whole thing and gets his phlegm going. Gross should be gross. Poof, right into the cup. Nachorubay, so they yelled at him. It just reminds me real quickly. I know we're running out of time here, but there's a Gavaldi Kitsadik in this neighborhood. I'll tell you his name is Dr. Michael Freeman and his wife Susie with my own eyes, came out every Shabbos, not anymore, but there's always this guy that nobody wanted to take in. No, and there's two people, two people, other Sadiqim in the neighborhood, Dr. Marty Dauber would take him in a lot, and this other guy, he literally, he would, with his phlegm, and he would eat with his fingers, he was not well, he's not a, he was straight out of the, whatever, out of the hospital, come, was, grow, every single Shabbos, and people, the family didn't want to eat there, to the point that it was hard to eat there, to watch him, but, I'm telling you, Maizu Shah, you're here in this neighborhood. Shavi Kichoy, Nachorbei, Shako Miss. So he pretended that he was dead. It's like, uh, it reminds me of those Rishoy Marurim over there in Harvard that did that, uh, the, what is it, how do you have Gana? They, just recently, last week, they all laid down and pretended that they were dead. They did a protest, dead. A dying, it's called dying. I mean, if you look over there, they're probably all on the phones and dying, you know, like you can't not for one minute to go with a costume without a phone. Say it, dying. He did a dying. Show him the Kamri. And then he goes out, he makes noises. He started to do all this funny stuff. He, he, he brings a whole bunch of people from outside screaming, Dabaka Kamri, play me Kotal Gabra. Play me, the one who brought him in and gave him bread and wine, killed somebody. Play me Kotal Gabra. So Plame runs away, he goes into the bathroom. Like outside, you know, in the, the outhouse that was far away in the, in the, in the, the forest somewhere. So the Yitzhar comes, falls in front of him. 
When he saw that Plame is very sad that he killed somebody, he revealed himself to him. You see, the Yitzhar has feelings. <laughs> Don't hurt my feelings. You said, Give me the Satan. It bothers me that you say, Why do you say that? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, to avoid you. I'm asking Hashem to save me from you. What should I say? Hashem should rebuke the Satan, take him away. You know, we always say, But you see from here that there is an Indian to Davin for Yerushalayim. Yes, it's in your hands and not in Hashem's hands, so to speak. But you could ask Hashem for help. That's what you're saying here. How do I get out of the Yitzhara? Davin, but in a proper way. Don't, don't, poke, don't poke fun of me. Don't curse me. Say, oh, an arrow in my eye. I don't like that. But there's amazing Marsha here. Rosh says that this whole story is ex exactly what and how the Yitzhara acts. First, he knocks on the door. There's a mensch. He knocks in a little bit. Yes, can I help you? I just want a little piece of bread. Oh, a little piece of bread. Can I come in? Can I have a table? Can I have, can I have some wine? Then he starts acting crazy and gross. He starts popping pimples. This is the Yitzhara. There's a Misa with a, a chassid went to the Rebbe. And he, the, the, he tells the Rebbe, Rebbe, I have a lot of hirurim. What should I do? The Rebbe says, go far away. There's a city over there and there's a Rebbe over there. He'll take care of you. So he goes, he sees there's a light on the house and he starts knocking the door. Nobody opens the door. There for hours. Finally, in the morning, the Rebbe opens up. He says, why don't you open? I'm here the whole night. He says, this is my house. I'm in control. I'll open up the door whenever I want to open up the door. So the Chassid says, oh, that's the answer I was looking for. And he went back. In other words, if you don't open up the door... The, the big problem is opening up the door. That's how he does it. A little bit, just a little bit. Once he opens up the door, it's, it's very difficult. You have to prevent. Preventive, Torah we saw, and Tefillah. Those three things. Preventive from coming in, a lot of Torah, and a lot of Tefillah. Zog to Gemara. If you have to go to Yechavrusa, go. It's not a problem. You just see it afterwards on YouTube. Today, it's in style not to say Tachnon and Baruch Hashem, there's a bris, we don't have to say it, and then this, and then there's this guy's yard sign, that guy's yard. Tachnon is one of the most important tefillos. And they used to like add their own things. So Rebchir Barashi used to add, Hashem, save me from the Yitzhar, referring to Tarayis and that kind of thing. His wife passes by, she hears him saying it. Whoa, my husband hasn't been with me in years. Now, how's it, Shaykh? There's a chiyuv of Aina. How, how, how can you say such a thing? So Rashi says that he's a, he was a zakim. He's an old man. You're saying he's so old. What is he so worried about the Yitzhar? begins to say he was learning in his garden. Kosh so she dressed up. What does she dress up? She put a lot of perfume on. Chof of and she walked by him. Omer lo manat, who are you? Omer ano haruso. I'm this famous Zaino. My name is Haruso. I just came back from traveling. Tava, so he propositioned her. Amalei, I know you're an old man, but you see that pomegranate on top of the tree? Bring that to me, and then everything will be okay. Shavar, he jumped. The old man jumped. Ozal, I see Nahalo. And he brought her. There's a Maisa, I'll tell you real quickly, because the Rebbe Mordech Zrachi was just nifted this week. They say his story. I don't know if it's true. It's time for the, for the joke. He was trying to wake up his bachram. They came back from a late wedding. Nobody's getting up. And then he sees a cat walking through the, the dormitory. So he starts screaming, What's wrong with you? A girl in the dormitory? And the way you're dressed? How dare you? So the bachram came to see what's going on. He says, Oh, by the way, you should come to Shachar's now. Okay, anyway, fine. Zogdi Gimar, this is a the classic. So, well, we'll have a story. Kassel say, he comes back home, have a kashagri, the visa tanura. His wife <clears throat> is lighting the, the, the oven. Solik Vikyasa Gave, he jumps into the oven to commit suicide. Or Malay Mayai, excuse me, what are, what are you trying to do? Oh my Allah, I'll tell you the story. This and this happened. Or Malay, I know how boy. It wasn't the Zaino, it wasn't Harusa, it was your wife. He didn't believe her. She probably, she probably doesn't want him to commit suicide to make up a story. So there's a Rashi here, very interesting. I just thought my own little shot here. I think it's, uh, I hope it's right. 
It says in Rashi, Kashta Nafsho, she got all dressed up. How does Rashi know that she put on perfume? What's this thing? I was just thinking that Rabbi Chia didn't look at her. You see that he didn't look at her because if he looked at her, you he know it's his wife. So the, what she did was she put on perfume. That's my own little thing. I could be completely wrong. Maybe he never saw her in his life, but I doubt it. Okay. Shagadavisu. Now, Zogdi Gemart, Omer La, Anom Yeli Suri Kavni. Oh, so that's the, the question I asked you all in the beginning. He thought he's with the Zaina, and the Zaina is this the Raisa. And he thought he's with her. You're right, it was his wife, it was 100% kosher, a mutter, but it, his kavana was wrong. He, he fasted with Sigufim, and he actually died from fasting. That's how much he fasted. And the Gemara explains the Sanyo, Isha Aferim Vashem Yisachla. The Isha means the husband is going to be made for the nether. Here, this is also from uh, Nazir, there's a, basically to show, Yoshi did this to show that the husband has the right to destroy, literally, to knock down the idea of a uh, nether that a woman does. It's gone, it's finished. So if it's gone and finished, why does the Pazik say, Vashem Yisachla, and Hashem is going to forgive her? There's zero Avera. She did, an, she did something she thought it's an Aveir, but it wasn't Aveir because the husband got rid of the, the Naziros of the Nether. It's talking about she, she says she's going to refrain from drinking wine. Bala, and the husband heard about it. And he's made for it right away. But she didn't know. She went to a few funerals and she drank wine. And she needs a kapara for that. It's an Aveir. It's not that she's in a zero to drink wine, not that Avera, but an Avera of poking ta- uh, fun at Hashem and say, I don't care about you. You said not to do it, I don't care. Rukiva would cry when he got to this passage. If a person wanted to eat chazer, but it turned out to be kosher, you need a real kapara. And if you wanted to eat chazer, and it was actually chazer, how much more so? He doesn't know, and he's, he's guilty, and he has a sin. He would cry. He thought he's eating kosher, but it turned out to be chaylev and it's treif. Certainly, if you had a mind to do a wrong thing and it is wrong, certainly you'd be oyvavir. That's what you have to cry in the true for. A person is allowed to have yichud with his own mother. So on, on Rashi says over here, but not for a long time. In and out, yes, but not, not for like 30 days like we said the other day. Next week's parasha, it says that Rabbi Yitzchak told Avi Melech that this is my sister. She's heard of art. It says over there, Vayi ke'orchu ayamim. There's a long time. And then Avi Melech tells him, Lama lo yigat li kishtachahi. Based on this Rashi, based on this Gemara, it's orchu ayamim. You're allowed to be misyachet with your sister for a little time. But once Avi Melech saw, it's a long time, that you're not allowed to do. That's what he said. Okay, fine. Now I'm asking for that one. Okay, next. Okay, next. Vidar imimoy v'imbitoy. He's allowed to live long term with his mother and his daughter. Shmuel argues. Omar. Also, this yachlin kalaroyish of a toy, you're not even yachlin with your mother and your daughter, but I feel in behema even with an animal. Is it to be with an animal? You know, I'm yachlin with it. We'll see in a second. There's a toy, is it? Not, I'm yachlin with all the mimimimimimimimim, I've been bitoy, the yachlin imimimimim. It says, ah, it says, before she allowed to be having yachlin with your mother and your daughter. Now, Rashi brings over here, very interesting, that Rashi Knesset Agdoyla davened that we should have less of a taiva for our mothers and our daughters. Imagine, there was a time in Tkufa, in Klai Yisrael, where people had real taivas, the same kind of taiva that you have for, for another one, you have for your own daughter. It's a chesed from Hashem that we, that we don't have it. It was a, a tefillah. And you could sleep, skin to skin, with your own daughter, mother. Do you have the Shmuel? Shmuel says, you're not allowed to. 
Amal Shmuel and Tameich, Mother Sanya, Choyisoy Bechamoyisoy. It says your own sister. Bechamoyisoy Shark, Allah Rashi Matoyro, Amy Safdi Moem, Ella Beidim. You need Aidim. It says your, your sister. Beidim in, Shlev Aidim Loi. You need Aidim. Ella Tanoi. So it must be that there's Machalis Tanoi and the Sanya, Amr and Meir. These are we. Interesting. This is after Remeir was making fun of Doira Veira and he's Nikshal almost on Omid Bey's. Now he says, be careful, make sure that I don't have a problem with my daughter. That's the Raya. The Raya is from the daughter. Omid Tarfin is RB, Mipne Kalosi. Kalosi is a problem for everybody to be Siafin. Tarfin said, be careful, make sure that I don't have a problem with her. Ligla goes, all of Talmud, and a certain Talmud made fun of Omid Tarfin. Omar Rebavo Mishum Mukhani Bingam Loyoyam Matim a little while later at Shinichal Oisi Talmud Bhamoisi. You don't make fun. Don't poke fun at the Doilam. And he himself ended up being with his own mother in law. Just a Shaila, interesting Shaila here. What does the Ilam say? A ger who becomes a ger is Kikatan Shinoila Dabit. New person. So how does he treat his own daughter? Does he have the same halacha as a daughter? Does she have halacha? It's my daughter. It's not your daughter. You're a new person. And she became a giyaris with him. Let's say. What do you say? It's like a daughter. Why? So Moshe Weinstein says that yes, it's kikat and chenoy dami, but the teva, nature doesn't change. And this nature that human beings don't have such teva for their daughters and mothers that doesn't change, even though it's Kekot and Shana. Okay. Changed, not exactly. The Allah changed not the Tev. That's what he passed. Mm-hmm. Afilu in Behima. So it says over here, in the Bright so that you know, let me say with all that rise in the Torah, even with an animal. Abaya, because of this Allah, Mechalei Mikuli Davra. He would empty out the entire field from animals. He didn't want to be together with an animal. Rav Sheishas, Ma'abele Mitzvah, another Pshat is that he told the, the shepherd not to be, okay. Rav Sheishas, Ma'abele Mitzvah. You cross them over the bridge. So let's see Tysus for a second. It's very important. Says Tysus, This is a big chumra. And then came along to Rabban the Rabbi Huda in the next daf. We're not concerned the Klai Yisrael being chashed for Mishkov Zachar and a behema, and therefore you don't have to chase your animals away. Says Gemara Rav Chanan Adari Klal Rav Kahanal Pum Naharo Rav Chanan came to Rav Kahanal from Naharo. Chazid Yosef Kugaris Vikayim Abayim Kamei. He was learning Torah, and there's an animal standing right there. What about a dog? What about these things? We're not chayish for these things. Amalei Lisol Lemar Afilim Behema. How can you learn Torah? There's an animal here. Amalei Lava Dat Toy. You're right. You are right. I just didn't notice that there's an animal. I was so involved in learning. And Chap Amar Rav Misachadomim Shtei Yivamois. So this is a lacha. That you like to be with people that hate each other. Two women hate each other. Two Yibamas are two sister in laws that each one could potentially fall Yibam and be a co wife. And because of that, they hate each other already. Bim State Tsarois and two co wives. Imisha Vacham a woman and her mother in law, they hate each other. They have different problems with each other, so they're going to snitch on each other if there's a problem. If, if somebody's Misyachah with one of them, the other one will go screaming. Imisha Ubaz Baila with a, a woman and her own stepdaughter. Stepdaughter hates her. You could be with a woman who you're not going to be one man, two women is not is not okay because that in callous, right? That we said yesterday. But if one of the women is never going to allow herself to be nival, she's just not into the parsha, but she understands it. So much so, if something happens in front of her, she'll go running to, to her parents and tell her parents what she saw. She's a good chimer. But we don't have to be chosh that she'll be involved in the act because she's not she, she's too young for that. But with enough seichel to know what she's seeing. So if, if that's the age, then she's a good chimer. They get older, so we said, younger that you could sleep together, skin to skin, but older not. What's the age? Up until nine years old. A boy until 12 with his mother. Uh, a girl until bas mitzvah, uh, a boy until his bar mitzvah. They have to have simonim. But the question is, 
Simonim on a nine-year-old, are they considered Simonim? So one man Omer says, yes, the Simonim, so that's it, you can't, you can't be with her. The other one says, no, it's Tam Shtosim, it's Tam Shum Balma, and the, the real age of a girl with Simonim is 12. Omer Amar Papa, Omer of Chizda, Lishon, Olam, Shainu, Boish, Olam, and the Fon of Arum. She's not embarrassed to stand without clothing. Abba Boish, Olam, and the Fon of Arum, also. If a, if a girl is embarrassed to stand without clothing, that means that she already has Taivas, my Taima, Yetzer, Alba Shah. Interesting story. Ravacham Barava comes to his son-in-law of Chizda, Shakli Lebaz Brate Oisvo Kanfe. He takes his granddaughter. Ravach had a granddaughter. In other words, Rav Chizda's daughter. And according to the place Riyaz Zokin over here, if you look over here, it says that it was Bekiruv Basar. He went to sleep with his granddaughter, skin to skin. Another Pshat, place Rid says, he put her on his lap. Malay, so Rav Chizda tells his, his shver, but some of the mar, the mikacha, <laughs> didn't you hear the news? She's engaged. All these stories, we, I don't think we can relate to most of these stories. But well, grandfather didn't know that she's engaged. He comes in the house and say, oh, mazel tov. She's no. After he went to sleep and she was in his bed, oh, by the way, she's a kala. What are you doing? It can't be she's engaged because Rav says you're not she's not engaged. She has to say, I want this in this person. So I asked my Chavrusa. He wasn't so sure that this is the Rav Chizda, the famous Rav Chizda, because if it is, I asked him, the, who, who the, who's Rav Chizda's daughter? Who did she get married to? There's a famous Gemara that they asked her, who do you want to marry? Rava? Or Rami Bar Chama. And the Rabbi said, Oh, I want to be second, because he knew that kids are so she married Rabbi Chama, he died and and he married her afterwards. But upon me, see over here that it says she has to be able to say, right on me. Okay, fine. Maybe it's a different kid, maybe it's a different Rav Chizda. I don't know exactly. I'll go upon him. My name is Ovar Leah Shmuel. So he says, Rav Chizda tells his shver, okay, I was over in Rav, but you're over in Shmuel. You're not allowed to use a woman at all. I all like the other Shmuel. If I don't have any taiva at all, I'm just doing it in order so that my daughter should see that I love her kid and I'm a great Zaydi, then it's 100% mutter. Says Taisis, top Taisis, one line. I call the Shem how could we use women? How could we? I don't know. So some say cleaning houses is different that you're allowed. To, but stop! How can a woman do you a favor or anything? Because if it's l'shem shomayim, you don't have any taiva, then it's mutter. Rabbi Say, have a wonderful day.